Hello all you wonderful people. I'm headed out again. Today I'm going to Grayson Lake. I'll be launching from Bruin Ramp. That's B-R-U-I-N, Bruin Ramp. Um, it's my favorite spot to fish at Grayson. I seem to catch more fish there than anywhere else. There is a deep channel and uh, there are limited bank fishing access spots. I'll show those in the video. And I'll show basically where you turn off of, I think it's uh, seven to get to the ramp it's very easy i won't show directions to grayson lake because that's covered in my other video but i will show where you turn off to go to bruin and i will show you the depths around some of these uh, bank spots um, there is a channel you can fish there right it's you're basically fishing right in the channel so if hybrid stripers are your uh, target i think uh, folks do catch those there and it is 25 to 30 foot deep and there's also some other spots uh, around Bruin Ramp where you can fish. I'll show those to you uh, with uh, depth readings and uh, hopefully it'll give you some ideas where you can go fishing if uh, you're fishing from the bank. I hope you find these videos helpful because I do enjoy doing them and uh, I do them basically to help folks get ideas of where they can fish. So come along and see what happens and I'll see you at the lake. For those of you who like to kayak, this is Clifty Creek Boat Ramp. It is the main boat ramp for kayaks here at Grayson. But that's the boat ramp you take to go to the Grotto Waterfall at Grayson. So if you've ever wondered which boat ramp would give you access to the Grotto Waterfall at Grayson, just know it's called Clifty Creek. It is typically very busy, so if you're going to go to the Grotto, get here early and enjoy the paddle. Now to get to Bruin, you will have already passed the aforementioned Clifty Creek. You will pass the entrance to the golf course, and you'll see the golf course on your right as you drive past it. You will go over the bridge that I just went over, which goes over the lake, and the next left will be Bruin Boat Ramp, probably two, two or three miles past the dam. So just know you're still on Route 7, and you'll be turning left to go to Bruin Boat Ramp. Now, the first bank access spot that I've seen is basically right here. You'll see, you see that little, I guess it's a gas line or something, and there is a sidewalk that goes down the hill there. If you can see it or not, it goes down the hill through those woods. That is an area, uh, I think it's an old beach, and I have seen people fishing there. I'll show that to you in the kayak whenever uh, I get around to there. And I have seen people park there. Now again, there's no parking spots, but I've seen them park there. So I don't know if you're parking at your own risk or not. Now another spot where you can go for bank access is right out this sidewalk. Um, and there, that's actually a, a bathroom area. There is an area down there that you can take a little pathway and it goes down to the uh, lake and you can fish down there off of some of the, I guess it's the rocks basically. And that's another spot you could fish. Um, I have seen people fishing there before. And again, I'll show that to you in my kayak once I get around there. Well, I have to go pee anyway, so I thought I'd just walk over here and show you where the uh, area you can walk down to the lake and fish. This would be the farthest point for bank access here. Just walk down this sidewalk. And then as you come right here to the little curve, this is right by the uh, bathroom. You see that little walkway and that goes down to the lake and that would allow you another spot to fish from the bank. Choose to fish at Bruin and you want to fish down around where the boat launch area is, just know this is the walk you have. And it's even longer when you're going uphill. You bank fishermen, this is the first area I showed you in the uh, truck. This is that little beach area. And again, I have never fished here, but I have seen people fish here and you can tell that it's, I mean, it's not uh, mowed, but um, it would be clear enough to fish. And I have seen people fish here. I believe the sidewalk comes out right there. And if you wanted to fish here, I am a little bit farther out than you could cast. So let me get up a little bit closer to bank. I'm in 20 feet of water right here. So fairly deep. Um, Actually, it's getting deeper, closer to the bank. That's interesting. 
All right, this is probably within a good casting range and I'm still in 20, 22 feet of water. So this is all 20 foot here. Um, we come on around now. This is way overgrown here. Now there, so if you look toward the, uh, be going toward the boat ramp, the, there is an incline up. Well, incline would be up. And it's going to 18 feet, uh, 17 feet, 16 feet. So this whole little area here is, is really deep. Now right here on the, you probably can't see where I'm pointing to, but the very end of the grassy area, it does come all the way up to 14 feet and it continues to rise. And quite honestly, there is a ton of fish right there. Uh, it could be bait fish, could be bluegill, but right on that hump as it's coming up, there were a ton of fish and it's going all the way to 12 feet. Now I just know in this area here, uh, some of the uh, water weed grows. So you're looking at the beach area, 20 feet going up to about 12. And let's go on around. I'm gonna knock out the entire bank access part of this video up front so let's see what else we can find it itself would be very limited um this little cove right here <clears throat> if you're adventurous and i guess you don't mind a weather brush ticks snakes whatever in the heck else might be there um there are a couple areas you could get to but you'd have to go through some pretty thick areas of brush there might be a trail or two through there i don't know but um and it does get kind of weedy right in this whole area so just know that in the summertime it's tough now in the winter time <clears throat> when they draw the lake down sorry i've got my allergies going crazy uh of course they expose the whole bank and you can walk all through here but but for summertime fishing this area will be tough um, i'm in 20 25 foot of water going up um, it does get shallower through here I'll just let you know kind of what I'm doing. Like I said, there's a couple areas there. If you wanted to try and fish, you could. But again, it would be uh, for the more adventurous bank fishermen. Um, okay, sitting here, I'm still in 20, 23 feet of water. So it's very deep right here too. Um, and within casting range of that whole area, it's still 20, 23 feet of water. So it's been very consistent. Lots of bait schools out there. Could be crappie, but I'm not sure sometimes. I do have a rod out trolling. So 21 feet of water, so about 20 feet of water off this area. And I'm gonna go on around to the channel. Here you could actually fish between the uh, little boat dock area and the ramp. Um, and it's 11, 11 feet. So it go, there's a drop off on the other side of my kayak that goes down. So you're looking at 11, 12 foot of water here. Gosh, a fish just jumped right there, pretty cool. So I'm heading on over here. That's about the only spot really you could fish here along here i just realized that most of the bank fishing at bruin that i have seen has been at winter pool not at summer pool because all of this is rock and <clears throat> you can walk right across you can walk from the boat ramp all the way down through here and fish from these rocks it's basically a drop off i'm in 18 feet of water and it's probably i don't know well those rocks are probably two or three foot deep at the most but all this is really overgrown so I, uh, I guess, kind of had in my head one thing, and now that I'm here, um, all that is, is most of that anyway, is a big rock ledge that runs all the way out to the point here. And like I said, it's 18 now, I'm in 24 foot of water, but to bank fish from here right now would be, uh, be pretty tough. So yeah, sorry about that. Just know when the, when the, uh, all the foliage dies back, if you want to fish Bruin, you can walk all the way down through here. And, uh, you know, I'm in 29 feet of water now. I'm a little bit far from the bank. Let me get a little bit closer. So for, for those who may watch this and then want to come back here in the uh, later fall or maybe early spring, and maybe I'll do another Bruin video next year. Um, of course, the wind now is blowing like a freaking hurricane. That's awesome. But I'm still right here off the bank, 31 feet of water. So there's a big channel that goes all the way down through here. And you would be able to catch hybrid uh, striped bass in this channel. They, they tend to really like and congregate here toward the fall and maybe even early spring. But still, I'm still, I don't know if you can see the bank. 
and I'm in 32 feet of water. So it's uh, right up the channel. So it drops off just about straight down that rock face and still 32 feet of water. So yeah, sorry guys, um, this is limited. I'll go up here to the point and around and show you where that uh, little pathway that is by the bathroom comes out. Coming out to that point, um, this, that out there is the main lake. And there are some spots here that people have been fishing. So you can see there's pathways. I don't know if you can kind of see there or not. I'm only in four foot of water right here. It, uh, there's a big point that sticks out. And I'm probably going to stag my trolling bait here. Hopefully it'll make it through all this. But this is only three foot deep. <laughs> so some folks may not know that. But yeah, I'm sitting here in three foot of water. Now there's a spot there, there's a spot to my left, and there's a spot straight ahead, and then right out there at the front, there's a lot of people go out there and swim. So now, <clears throat> where these two spots are, it drops off very quickly, and it's 10 feet of water, going on down to 13, 15, uh, 16, and it kind of bottoms out around the 7 to 18 foot range. So this little cove, is the, the deepest spot 18 feet so just know that these spots you don't want to cast very far off the bank i mean i'm maybe well i don't know 10 20 foot off the bank right here and it's in in the deeper spot now it does go but start going back up because you have that hump but right there off that little those two little fishing spots it was at the at the deepest 18 feet let's come around this little corner here out to the very tip headed out to the main lake in fact I'm out of the no wake zone and <clears throat> right here is a very popular swimming spot there's a big ledge that comes out and I'm in eight feet of water right here um, if you want to fish here you want to cast on farther out into the channel but yeah it's it's only six foot deep here you can see the big rock or you may not be able to see it but there's a big rock ledge and it's six foot deep now coming on around here um, still six foot and then hit the main lake. I'm still in six feet of water. Here's the drop off. So a pretty good cast out. I'm at 12 going down to uh, all the way down to 40. Wow. It goes from 12 feet to 43 feet. And I am not even 20 feet off the bank. So this is all very deep. But um, uh, this whole area, like I said, it's a very popular swimming spot, but you can also fish it. And you can see all of this is rock ledge. Now, back coming off the ramp, this is what it looks like in the winter time. You see this big rock wall going. So you can fish all through here. There's a little tiny cove, and I'm still in 40 feet of water. So very deep here, um, but there is some bank access, and this is where that path comes out. So if you want to come out and either swim or wet a line, you could do either one of those things here. Just know at Bruin, the access for bank fishing is fairly limited, but uh, there is some if you want to give it a try. But even right here off the bank, and I'm, I don't know, 10 feet out, uh, it's 30, 35 foot deep. So very deep, uh, big cliff, but have a lot of fun, and we'll try to catch some fish now. All right. We're just kind of trolling out here, and... I think we just got the skunk off the boat. And it's a little bass, but I'll take it. So I've caught a lot of these this year, but anyway, that's the first one. Not very big, but no skunk this time. There's a pontoon just went by and two jet skis. So I'll show you. Uh, it's a very stable craft. Not only is it stable, I've got the wind whipping. Um, <laughs> it's like, eee, not great kayak fishing time. But I'll just show you if everybody's curious how stable this is. Like I said, that was a pontoon and two jet skis just went by me. 
and you'll see it's very stable of course i'm facing the waves right now but i could be having them hit my back or whatever and, uh no no issues with stability at all these old towns are three foot wide and they're they're made for rougher water so you can feel confident in that it's nice let's see what we got on here it's fighting a lot better Oh yeah, that's a nice little bass. Hey, this little <laughs> little two and a half inch Kitek with a short shank Gamagatsu. He's probably about ten inches, but okay. Nice little, nice little treat. What's on this one? crappie i think it is actually no yeah it's a little crappie all right there you go pretty pretty maybe a black that's a black crappie or not but a pretty one ouch 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 all right there you go bud well there we go all right let's see what we got here this feels like a little better one Oh yeah, come on around here. Another, another bass. Well, nothing huge, but they're fun to catch. Ouch. All right, dude. That on that, jeez, oh, Pete, these little gamagatsus, man. It may be a short shank hook, but they don't lack in hooking power, that's for sure. Uh. All right, buddy. All right, there you go. Another uh, little one. Oh man, nice green sunfish. That's a that's a stud for one of those. Come here, man. I used to always call these rock bass, but I guess their proper name is green sunfish. Pretty little fish, boy. He's stocky. I'm trying to get this out of here. There you go, buddy. Hell of biting. Uh, yep, not a little one. Well, I don't know, about nine inches, I guess. Eight inches, maybe. I don't know. Ah, dang on. Tearing up my Kitex. Ah, there's a. I don't know what the. Yeah. Another bass. Well, there's a lot of these out here. <laughs> All right, buddy. There's one. Oh, another green sunfish. <laughs> I'll scheme to the boat here. Pretty funny. I figured I'd catch one in that area. Yeah, Lord, did they eat these things? There you go. Acrobatic, isn't he? Alright, All 
there, buddy. Bad guy, I'll tell you what. There's one guy got some jigs. Hook them good. He's a little fella. Oh, sorry, big boy. All right. This one might be a little bit better. Just don't want him jumping anymore. Come on, big boy. Yeah, a little bit better. There we go. Sheesh. I mean, he's nothing crazy big, but he's better than what I've been catching. I see, fella. Ooh, I barely had him hooked. I taste these Kytex. I've tried, I've been trying the. Uh, tried Ned Rig, tried Wacky Worm. I see a lot of minnows jumping out here. I wonder, he might, he's probably about 11. Let's see real quick. Let's see real quick. Uh, I'm getting close to the bank. Uh, crap, 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 crap. Let's get you close your mouth, big fella. Yeah, 11 and a half, okay, there you go, buddy. and pedal backwards so it's going right into the bank yikes it's a little better one here I think oh yeah much better holy crap I don't know what I've got here but oh my gosh Broke me off. Wow. Huh. Well, there you go. I'm out here fishing marks now in about 20 some feet of water and caught that little guy. Huh. All right. Little bluegill. Well, I've caught everything today. Gee, many. Well, there you go. It's a nice bluegill. All right, bud. Well, this wraps up another video. I hope you all have had an enjoyable day today. I can feel the stress come out of my body when I come to the lake. Uh, whatever lake it is, it doesn't matter. So, brewing at Grayson is so so on uh, bank access there's there are some spots to fish but they're very limited the main marina with uh all the spots there is probably the best place at grayson to fish near the dam but there are some spots here um when the foliage dies back there's a lot of areas you can fish off of brewing and uh, you can fish that deep channel and i know that in the fall especially the hybrids like to kind of congregate there so that might be an idea for later this year but i use mainly that two and a half inch kytec i went through almost two packs of them today so that that i will be ordering more of i caught a few on the uh, shad wrap mini and other than that i tried wacky worm i tried uh, ned rig i tried uh, the power bait crawl and just nothing going on. The wind was blowing today a lot, so it was really hard to fish the slower baits. I had to fish mostly just kind of casting and retrieving, but that's fine. Uh, it was a great day. I caught it, you know, didn't catch anything big, but I caught several and had that one that broke my line. And I have to guess it was probably either a catfish or a hybrid. It fought a whole lot harder than a uh, bass would. And it's my fault. I'd left that leader on too long and I should have retied. So lesson learned, don't be lazy. But uh, like I always say, find something you love to do and go do it because it just makes your life more enjoyable. So thanks for watching this video and I'll see you in the next one.